Welcome back gamers to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. If you happen to be new here to the channel, we cover all things gaming related. So to never miss out on the latest trends, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Plus, comment down below the scariest video game level that you've ever played. Now let's jump into today's list of the Top 10 Scary Video Game Levels. Number 10, the hotel basement. Things really get going for the game The Last of Us when you escape those bandits that ambush you in Pittsburgh. Following that, you land in a flooded hotel basement that's packed with infected enemies. The level is full of dark areas as well as the odd infected sprinting by a doorway to keep you on your toes. Knowing full well that not only are bandits trying to kill you, but now these monsters are also thirsty for your blood. Unit number 9, Tomb of the Giants. The Tomb of the Giants is just how it sounds. It's a very dark tomb just below the catacombs with the skeletons of giants and the remains scattered everywhere. Even after defeating Pinwheel, your future is bleak in this level. Your goal is to reach the bonfire, but the bad news is that the first one you find is extinguished for good. Once you leave Pinwheel's lair, slide down into the dark coffin, get to the bottom, and you'll be challenged yet again to face those two giant skeletons that are patient waiting to attack you. Oh, plus there's arrows shooting at you from the darkness. Got any of the gleaming moss thinking I'm toxin when I'm not. I'm actually poisoned. And then I think balls, I'm just gonna have to suck it up and kill him. So, now that the skeletons are down... Unit number 8, Kanji Cave. The Forest is a first person survival video game that is set on a remote, heavily forest peninsula where you and your son are survivors of a plane crash. Because this game doesn't operate in a linear fashion, you're free to kind of roam the open world and make your own decisions. One of the more terrifying parts of this game is the Kanji Cave. It can be found near the shipping containers underwater. On your interactive map, you'll see it marked as Cave Island West Swim Entrance. Once you're in, the only source of light you have is from your lighter and you'll be wishing you never flicked that big. You'll soon find out that the floor is covered in bodies. In at number 7, The Morgue. Next up, this scary video game level comes to us from the game Amnesia The Dark Descent. The Morgue, as the name suggests, is a room where dead bodies are stored. In particular, it was used by Alexander to store corpses, most likely for studying purposes. Your purpose of being in this twisted level, though, is to get vaccinated with the blood from the body on the table in the morgue. That will be your only chance to survive the toxic fungi while in the sewer. Sounds simple, right? Well, not exactly. You'll have to drill a hole into the skull of the deceased then assemble a syringe, then you can inject yourself. Even after that, you're not out of the weeds. Once you've received the vaccination, a brute will bust down the door when you try to leave. Number six, bottom of the well. This is from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and yeah, the game footage now may look not so chilling to you modern day gamers, but back in the day, the bottom of the well level was very scary. Once you've completed the forest temple and have learned the songs of storms, you can finally reach the cavernous complex of the bottom of the well. Besides the bloody torture devices that you wouldn't expect from Nintendo, you'll also have to face this level's mini boss, Dead Hand. Ah, Dead Hand, haunting the dreams of all 90s kids for years to come. You're always surrounded by these gory looking white arms sticking out of the ground trying to snap at you. In at number 5, Sayori's Path. Ah, Doki Doki Literature Club, the game that everyone thought was just a friendly dating simulation. That is until this happened. Yeah, that got dark real fast. The unique thing with this game is that once you reach the end, you're not actually at the end. It's more of a checkpoint than anything. In total, the game has three endings. A bad one, the best one, and the alternate special ending. If you confess to Sayori that you love her, you'll get a special scene, and if you decide to keep her in the friend zone, you'll just get a small conversation. However, 
it doesn't even matter what you choose because either way on this scary level Sayori will commit suicide on the day of the festival. And at number 4, all gillied up. This is by far one of my favorite missions for Call of Duty 4, the first game in the Modern Warfare series. All gillied up is the 13th mission in the game and starts with a flashback of an earlier mission that Captain Price was on as a lieutenant. This level is especially terrifying because it's like you're playing the ultimate game of hide and go seek, except if they find you, you and your squad are dead. Probably the most intense portion of this level is when you slowly have to shift out of the way of enemies walking inches beside you as a tank rolls through the field. It's most definitely not an easy mission for those of you with a trigger finger. If you have to move up, slow and steady, no quick cuts. And at number 3, Main House. Resident Evil 7 was one of those games that really paid proper homage to its roots with its release in 2017. The game's protagonist is Ethan Winters, and when the game starts, they don't give you a minute to breathe. You and your friends are trapped inside of a cabin as you fight for your life to escape. It won't be that easy though, because there's a super powered family along with the invincible Jack Baker joyfully chasing you throughout the home. You can't even hide behind walls because Jack will just smash through it like the Kool-Aid man. And at number 2, Titan Elementary School. Dead Space 2 is a survival horror franchise that perfectly captures what it would feel like to be trapped alone in space. Many of the levels are scary as they're meant to be, but the Titan Elementary School level in particular is especially terrifying. The reason for it being so disturbing is that once in the school, after exploring some of the classrooms and seeing the colorful posters on the wall, a loud shriek can be heard, followed by this grotesque baby necromorph attacking you. The mutant baby has blood dripping from its mouth and is flanked by a ton of its friends, all of which have razor sharp teeth, long fingers, capable of tearing you to shreds, which brings your anxiety to a whole new level. <laughs> Lastly in our number one spot, the house. Silent Hill's playable teaser still haunts my dreams. That crying mutant baby in the sink is enough to make you drop your controller and go ask a stranger for a hug. This game is the definition of what horror games should be. While walking through the home's corridors, you can explore the bathroom and eventually end up in a maze of hallways. The main scare tactics that the game implements are the super tall woman who flickers in and out of view in the hallway, these creatures who crawl upstairs, and of course, the mutant baby I mentioned before. Oh, plus the cryptic literal writing on the walls that say things like no turning back now. And that has been the top 10 scary video game levels. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video show us some love by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on this list. And for more videos like this one all you have to do is click that playlist on the screen. From Top 10 Gaming I'm Johnny Rogers until next time take care.